Three minutes on protein. The first question is to ask how much is too much, not how do we get enough. Everybody gets too much protein in our society and we all think we don't have enough because major industries have brainwashed us to believe that we never have too much and that the more the merrier. But we today know through scientific evidence, clinical studies, biochemical textbooks, we know that too much protein is the dirtiest way to manufacture energy in the body and most of the excess protein that we eat actually gets converted into energy uh, which is like in a way producing en energy with an exhaust that does not have a catalytic converter on it so there's a lot of pollution that goes on in the body as a result of this conversion most of us get excess protein by at least a hundred percent more than what our body really needs for normal growth and development if you have too much protein, we normally don't even recycle our own protein very well, so you don't end up that far ahead. But people still think that they need to get high protein bars and high protein shakes, and when people are selling them products, they use the word protein to sell products to them because it's a buzz word. But in reality, protein is toxic, and if we look at all societies in other parts of the world that eat a lot less protein and eat a lot more natural wholesome foods from plant sources not heavy on the nuts and seeds and legumes and grains but heavy on plant uh, food especially uh, leaves and fruit and so on uh, even if they have more proteinaceous seeds they still have a lot less than a typical westerner the typical american or northern european that have way too much protein in their diet and as a result uh, we Westerners suffer a lot of toxic compounds like nitrosamines and heterocyclic amines and uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and other types of molecules that are cancer causing, that cause severe liver and kidney and vascular problems and affect our sugar level as well. People don't realize that when we eat a lot of protein, especially animal sources, our cortisol level is going to shoot up and as a result we're going to have more sugar in our circulation ending up affecting our entire system in a negative way. Therefore protein is a very important topic it covers a lot of information we have a big two-hour teleseminar on this topic which we must look for and listen for and then you'll get the whole picture.